on spring break for students is usually an exciting week, but for some who rely on a free lunch at school, this week can be troublesome. Brad Underwood shows how some people are making sure no kids go hungry. Inside Gabriel's Place Kitchen, chefs are making the final batch of enchiladas for the night. The turnout was pretty big today. More than 60 came for brunch, and a late rush of people for dinner kept them busy. It's the most fulfilling thing i ever done in my life. Chef Ebony Pickens just started at Gabriel's Place. She was brought in to help the organization, which provides food education in Avondale. My experience for the last three weeks here has been like chopped. <laughs> You know, I come up with whatever that's in there and we just make it work. By the looks of the clean plates and the smiles, it's working. We wanted to make sure that our youth is being cared for. So we said, hey, you know, why not, why not cook for them? Executive Director Lisa Craig says after learning that most kids in Avondale get free or reduced prices on school lunches, she felt they had to do something during the spring break week. We are prepared to serve up to 300 a day. However, we're not turning anyone away. Um, I always say it's kind of like grandma's house. If you show up, we will definitely feed you and we will make it work. And after a meal here at Gabriel's Place, the kids can come into this building. There are tables for arts and crafts. There's a projection screen to watch movies and even tables full of board games. Amazing. With plenty to do, the kids are happy. It was a fun day here. Why was it fun? Because you can make stuff. I'm just having some fun, like board games and drawing and bracelets. Yeah, just my cousin and I'm over there eating. And hopefully, they'll be back tomorrow. In Avondale, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And brunches serve from 10 to 1, dinner from 5 to 7. There'll also be free haircuts tomorrow and Wednesday at their location on Reading Road.